traditional Vietnamese pho noodle soup is made with meat but today I will share with you my flavorful vegan version served with blanched bok choy, meaty oyster mushrooms along with those spicy and sweet tofu chunks. And as always you can find the full list of the ingredients in the description box below this video where I will also link for you some other Asian soup recipes which inspired me to create this one. I started by roasting some of the ingredients. Ginger, which I simply slice longwise like this. Onions, cut in half, still with the skins on. They will give color and sweetness to our broth. Some carrots. And for the aroma, I'm adding green part of a leek, along with a fragrant celery root. For it all to roast well, I brush it with olive oil. And this coat will prevent it from drying out in the oven and will help with the heat transmission. Ah, and on the top I'm also adding some mushroom stems, which I saved in my freezer. These are great to boost the flavor. At the same time I will also roast some spices. Half a teaspoon of cloves, a teaspoon of fennel seeds, a teaspoon of coriander seeds and star anise. Then I sprinkled all with salt and I bake it at 220 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes or until the vegetables start to get a bit of color. Now I carefully transfer it all into a large pot, I add a cinnamon stick and I cover it with water, around 2 or 2.5 and liters. I also had two sticks of lemongrass left over in my freezer, so I added them too. I bring it all to a boil and then I let it simmer under cover for about 2 hours. During this time we can already prepare the toppings. To blend the bok choy I start by separating the leaves. Now I put them into a boiling salted water, I cover it and I let it simmer for 2 minutes. After this time I directly transfer them into a ice cold water which will stop the cooking process. This step helps to preserve their beautiful green color. Now to prepare the oyster mushrooms I tear them into such long stripes. This way they will keep their meaty texture. Then I sear them until golden with some rapeseed oil and salt. And to make the amazing sweet and spicy tofu chunks, I start by pressing a block of tofu with a cloth to remove any excess of water. Now I slice it. Here I was trying to make some kind of triangles, but normal slices would also work great. Now I coat them thoroughly with tapioca flour. You could replace it with corn or potato starch. And it's time to fry it. For the best result it is important to use enough of very hot oil. I gently brown them on all sides and then I put them on a paper towel to remove excess of oil. In a bowl I mix maple syrup, soy sauce, chili flakes, grated ginger and grated or squeezed garlic. Now I put back the fried tofu chunks into a dry frying pan and I add in this fragrant mixture. I let it fry for a couple of minutes. You should soon notice some bigger bubbles to appear and this is a sign of caramelization. It's ready when the tofu has absorbed most of the liquid. When the broth was cooking for 2-3 to three hours, it's time to drain it. And hopefully you will do less of a mess than I did. You can store it in the fridge and when it's dinner time it will take you less than 10 minutes to put it together. Simply bring it to a boil in a pot. I also added some baby corn cut in half. And for an extra beautiful flavor, my favorite Thai basil. I let it all simmer for 4-5 to five minutes. I season it to taste with brown sugar and soy sauce. At the same time I'm preparing the rice noodles. I was able to find these thicker ones but such thin rice noodles will also fit fine. To cook them simply follow the instructions on the packaging. Now I add the blanched pak choy, oyster mushrooms, baby corn and I cover it all with this incredibly fragrant broth. And let's not forget our spicy tofu chunks plus a sprinkle of roasted sesame seeds. As you could see, it was really simple to make, but the result is restaurant worthy. Beautiful, warm and comforting. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to stay up to date with all my newest step-by-step -step recipes, do subscribe to this channel and click the bell so that you are notified when my newest videos are out. Thank you for watching until the end and I hope to see you next Monday. Bye!